Me, 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 me. <laughs> Auto -tool. Welcome back, um, it's me, Bug, not here with my mom or the little one. Um, today it is 19 voices I can do. But before we do anything, please, if you like this video, like us. If you want to subscribe, we would love it. You become part of our family, but make sure you hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified when we post. And... Please comment on who I sound like I can do for these voices. I know some of them aren't the best, and some of them I think are pretty good. So who do you think I do the best, and who do you not think I do well? So, is there any character you would love to hear me try to do and learn? I would love to do another one of these videos. Now let's get into it. So... A while back, we went to Star Wars um, weekend at Disney when they still had Star Wars weekend, and I um, I sat down for two hours and I watched the voice actor of Ratchet and Clank and Johnny Tess. His name is James Arnold Taylor. Um, he did a very cool presentation on how you can go from one voice to another so on and so forth. And this is after I watched Brian Hall's whole let it go Disney craze. Like that was just starting. And honestly, it started me on trying to do voices. So here are some of the 19 characters that I can do. Starting with number one. Speaking of number one. <laughs> Donald Duck. Donald is one of the weird ones where it's a lot of pushing the air to the side of your mouth. Um, so he was very hard to get down, and I still can't overly talk with him. I can say some things like, you're number one, or, and stuff like that, but pronouncing continents is really the hard part, and that's what I'm still working on with him. Number two. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. And that was Roz. So Roz is a really raspy character, so it tickles your throat. So when doing a character like that, you really want to have some moisture in your, like, in your throat to help. Number three. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? And I think it's really fitting because this movie comes out on the 24th, Aladdin. And he is one of the ones who's actually very close to my own voice. So just changing it a little bit. Genie, I want to be a prince. And stuff like that. Um, while he's singing, at least, makes it a lot easier to do his voice. Number four is someone who is old. Yeah. But he said some very inspirational quotes. Like, do or do not. There is no try. And may the fourth force be with you. Which is Yoda. And Yoda's really fun to do. I mean... For Yoda, at least, you kind of have to. Mm -hmm. Do or do not, there is no try. And it's all about the way you talk. Because a lot of characters actually use this, like, you kind of lost your voice when you talk in them. But you'll see that you will actually use that a lot. Now, number five is technically not just one character, but they're all categorized in the same area. Ready? I I 
Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Um, and lastly, my favorite impression of the seven dwarfs. Y y you get it, right? Dopey doesn't talk. <laughs> um, now, yes, all the seven dwarfs have really unique voices outside of singing. But when you have them singing, they're all in this very, like, deeper voice. Number six. Hello, my name is Doug, and I squirrel! Um, and Doug is a fun one, um... Doug, you really just deepen your voice, and you talk like this, and it, it's very, like, you, you chop up your voice, and it goes like this the whole entire er, time, and that's the only way you can really get some of, uh, some characters like that, like, I, I, it's very hard to explain, but going on to, from number six to number seven, Alpha, your voice sounds funny. is broken also really sounds like a lot of other characters who are really high it is all about like the um you it's like down here and you're pushing the air up and that's like the whole entire thing with them mm -hmm. once you are able to get up higher you're like once you're able to get up higher like i just said you, you, the characters you can do is kind of limitless, as well as get lower. And that's where it goes. But, number eight. Why are there so many songs about rainbows on the other side? Now, Kermit the Frog! I want to get down a lot of the Muppets for voices, like... It would be really fun to be able to get down Miss Piggy, um, Beaker, the Swedish Chef. All of it, like, Swedish Chef is very easy. He's not one of them, but... Um, but to get them all down, because I've made my own Muppets, um, off the Jim Henson style, I think would be really cool. Number nine. Would you like a cup of tea? Um, the Mad Hatter is one of them that it's very hard to do. You really have to learn how to, like, push your tongue out at the right moment of time. Um, so, for him, for the Mad Hatter, I mean, <laughs> you take a little bit of Tigger right there, and you throw in a bigger lisp, and puts out your tongue a lot, cup of tea, to make a, like, a distorted way. Like, there's a lot that goes into changing your voice. Sometimes you have to pull your cheek so you get a, so you get more air and you hear the air in your voice. And other times it's more of just making the face. So, speaking of another character who it takes something else to kind of do, no one's quick as Gaston, no one's slick as Gaston, no one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. That is LeFou. Now, Le, now the flu, the flu, the flu is one of the characters that's really fun to do. And you'll notice if I talk too fast, I go out of character more. But LeFou is really raspy, and it goes back to Roz, and it does end up tickling them. Now, number 11. Here we go! All it takes is a little bit of faith, trust, oh, and pixie dust. Peter Pan is another one that doesn't change too much, and the one thing I'm trying for him is to get down the rooster call. That is the one thing I cannot do with him yet. And I'm hopeful to get down soon. Number 12. Chewbacca! 
Um, Chewbacca is one of the easier characters to do. So if you're starting out, I would start off with like a Chewbacca because you're not talking. Learning a voice is one of those things you have to adapt to the way they speak, to the way they talk. Um, and Chewie, all you have to do is learn how to go like this, very low, uh, like, I don't know, and, and you just kind of roll, um, in the back of your throat, like you're gargling air, is the best way I can describe it. Now, number 13. The seaweed is always cleaner in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you, what more are you looking for? Sebastian, a thing you should learn is an accent is different from a voice. If you're going to learn a voice with an accent, I would start off learning an accent first because it's very hard to get both of them down at the same time. But going off of... Sebastian, we have someone who's also a little bit easier, and I'll explain why a little bit more into this video. Miso Jar Jar Binks! Jar Jar Binks! There we go. So, Jar Jar is a character um, that once you get another character down, you're pretty much able to do. Number 15. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare robot. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? So Baymax is one of the ones who um, you actually want to become a little bit more airy for. And something, and you'll have to kind of work with this, but something that you can do um, with like certain characters who have that like, Auto to um tune like kind of like robot voice is if you learn how hard to hit like the Adam's apple area um it will add that like clicky sound as you just heard be careful when doing that because you can hit it too hard and it will make you cough and knock the air out of you number 16 <clears throat> Reindeer are better than people. Sven, don't you think that's true? Yes, people will beat you and curse you and cheat you. Every one of them's bad except you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Kristoff is another one that's just kind of in that register for me. Um, My voice is very close. And then Sven is just like, Chewbacca, really? Except people will beat you. <laughs> Um, it's, once you get that low hit, you can get more characters in that realm. Number 17. Oh, hello means family. And family means knowing it's left behind or forgotten. So, Stitch, okay? Stitch. Stitch is also one that is very easy to do. It is very, like, it, it's in the center of your, like, back here, but in the center of your face, and um, when you're doing stitch, ugh, it's just raspy. But if you learn how to bring it higher, you'll get Jar Jar Binks, except less raspy. So you have to take out the rasp from stitch or henna, or that like weird, like phlegmy kind of sound. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but once you are able to control your range, you can go from stitch to Jar Jar and anywhere in between. And a non-Disney character. The Hobbinsons love to riddles. Gollum, gollum. For all you Lord of the Rings fans out there, um, you can do Stitch to Gollum to Smeagol, as I'll show now. Or Hobbinson's family, and family means the rings, my precious. Gollum, gollum. Who's the Hobbinsons? Charger Binks is Hobbinsons. Um, it, it all falls in that range. Now, number 18. Chim chim and I, chim chim and I, chim chim churray. Your sweep was as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chim and I, chim chim and I, chim chim churray. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Or blow me, 
or blow me a kiss. And that's lucky too. Um, Bart is another one with the accent. Going back to Sebastian, I would try to learn how to do a British accent before just trying to get Bert's voice down. Um, and another rule of thumb, it's a lot easier to sing in a voice than it is to do a voice. You'll, you'll learn that as well. And number 19, the big grand finale. I hope you have enjoyed. Aha! Uh -huh. uh Hiya, fellas, it's me, Mickey Mouse! So, Mickey Mouse here. Um, for Mickey, it's another one that's very... You kind of use your head voice and you use the thing that you did for Stitch. Except it's in a different, um, a different range of voice. Um, so, yeah. All of them... It's very hard to describe. I would recommend watching someone who's a lot better than me, like Brian Hall or Bart Baker. There we go. Bart Baker, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I apologize if I do not pronounce the names right. Anyway, I would watch them if you want to get into it. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it. I like trying to mimic the voices and hearing them and mim like mimicking them when I can. Um, and it's... Something that you don't see as often. So, if you've enjoyed, I'm glad. Please let me know who you think I did amazing at and who needs a little bit of work. And, yeah, I hope you have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And we'll see you real soon. Uh-huh. <laughs>